Hello and welcome to Yard Sale Sundays. In today's episode, I'll show you everything I got at that giant rummage sale that I showed you the shop along footage from on Friday. If you like this kind of content, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. Okay, so at the giant rummage sale, we went on the last day. So it was bag day. So you could get anything you could fit in a paper grocery bag for $5. And then anything that didn't fit was half off. So we wound up getting two bags worth. So we spent $10 on what I'm about to show you. Uh, I did get some Christmas. You saw me going through the Christmas stuff, but I'm going to save that and show that to you in my Thriftmas in July haul. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what we got in our bags. So for right now, I'm gonna start with the wall art that I picked up. I found two items that I was able to put in my bag. I got this one. I love this picture, it's so pretty. I'm gonna probably put this in my bedroom, I think. It's gorgeous though. And it says, I don't know if that's Doorband is the artist's name down there, I'm not sure. I think the frame is really pretty. I'm not gonna change it at all. I'm just gonna use it exactly like it is. That's what the back looks like. Okay, <clears throat> and then we also took home this one, which I also love. I love the wheelbarrow. I'm not a super fan of the mat because I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually matted on a piece of green paper. It's like two layers. I don't know if you can see. So I may change the mat, um, but I'm not going to do anything to this. And I, I'm not sure about the frame because I told you I do have like this lighter oak in my home. It does not offend me. I know a lot of people don't like it, but that's okay. Um, so I haven't really decided, but I do love it. And I think it's really nice for spring and summer. Okay, so that was it for the wall art. Then I'll go ahead and show you the dishes that I got. So I got these 10 saucers. I got them because I love these. They are Stetson Melmac Dinnerware, Chicago, Illinois. The blue ones are anyway. I actually haven't really looked at what the white ones are. The white ones are not marked. There is eight of the blue ones. The white ones I'll probably just use. Um, I use saucers under plants a lot of times, so I'll probably just take those out and use that for plants. But these I'm just gonna keep on a shelf stacked because I really like them. They're just that really pretty color until maybe I find others. Maybe I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna look for these dishes at different sales and see if I can come up with more of a collection. So. All right, so I got those. Then I also got some more practical dishes. We use these little custard cups all the time. So I got two of those. They are Pyrex and I got three of these. These are like a larger bowl, but those are great. Very useful in the home. So got all of those. Then I got these, just some cool random plates again, cause you know, I was just shoving them in a bag. So I didn't have to be too picky. I got this one. So this says WS George East Palestine, Ohio made in the USA. And it's a pig on a goose. I don't know why, is that a nursery rhyme? I can't remember, but maybe, but I just thought it was cute. It does have some discoloration, but it's cute and fun, different, so. And it was, you know, shove it in your bag, so. Then I got this one, I, just, I like white dishes. So this is Haviland, France. And it does have, actually it's in pretty good shape. It looks like the finish is not as shiny as it should be, because the other side is really shiny. I don't know what that's about, but again, I'm just going to use it in my hutch probably. Okay. And then I got these, these, I want to look for the set. I really like them. It says sweet clover, Japan number 2205. And this one says violet. Oh no, it must be 205. Cause this one says violet number 202 Japan. So they were a set and I kept looking to see if the other because I know I looked them up. I was like, oh, there's more of these. I just, you know, I love anything with flowers, but the other two, I think there's two others in the set and they were not there, but I did try to, to search the rummage sale and couldn't find them. So anyway, so got those two and then I got this, but this was really pretty. This says made in Taiwan, Claire Burke. It's dirty. It needs to be cleaned, but I like this raised pattern a lot. I just thought it was really different. 
and I like the color obviously because it's white and it has like a gold rim and gold around the bottom. So. Okay, and then I got this. I love this. It's a milk glass canister. It's in really good shape. I mean, look at that seal. It's like not crackly, not crumbling at all. A lot of times they're like dried out. This one is not, it's in awesome shape. Um, needs to be cleaned a little. No mark, but I just liked it because I like the milk glass. I've not seen really a lot of milk glass canisters like this. I did see some that have a print on them from the 70s, but I like this one because it's plain. So anyway, that was cute. Oh, and this was very cool. You know, I have a coffee themed kitchen. So I thought this would be cute in my coffee themed kitchen. It's the cornflower blue, but it's like a coffee percolator and it has its parts. Oh, I can't get the lid off. Oh, there we go. So it has all its parts. It needs to be cleaned out. It has a little, little extra coffee in there. Funny from whenever that was from. So I got that for my kitchen. Okay, I didn't quite get out here early enough today. I'm dealing with potential for road work at any moment. So I'm gonna to try to get through the rest of this haul. But, um, so then I got one thing for Easter. Thought he was super cute. He's wearing a basket on his back, carrying some eggs. Um, he's not vintage, he's made in China. And it was a Target item. So that, that's fine, because I thought he was just adorable. Oh, I did forget one dish and the glasses because I got distracted by the road work. Okay, let me show you the glasses. Okay, so here's the glasses we got. They're super cool. We wrapped them in socks because that was the only way I could think of to get them home safely. There are these and it's set of um, four. So it's four of these. Really cool color and they have that H hazel atlas i've looked it up you'll be so proud of me that is a hazel hazel atlas mark so i got four of those shoved them in my bag in socks and got them all home safely that was a cool find then i also got this dish it says m uh, m and z austria and it has like wings of some sort maybe i don't know i thought this was really pretty and I don't feel any chips on it. It's in pretty good shape. It needs to be cleaned up a little, but no, I thought that was kind of pretty. So I guess it's like a vegetable bowl, maybe. Then I also got these cute little miniature measuring cups. I got a set of white ones and a set, oh, well, two white ones and a set of red. And they do say like teaspoon, they have measurements on them, but I'm probably just gonna set them on a tray because they're so cute and little. And then, oh my goodness, you know I collect ice cream scoops. I found a mini ice cream scoop. I thought that was so cute. So I got those. I got two metal hot plates. These are just useful to have, sit around under things. Two of those. Then I got this. You probably saw this in the video. I'm gonna put this in my family room. It's made so you can hang it on the wall. I probably won't, I'll probably set it on a shelf. It says Down East Crafts Incorporated 1983 and it has a man with a rowboat and some seagulls. I got it because it reminds me of home of the ocean with the seagulls. That's what we called them out east. I don't know what they're actually called. And I feel like here they're in Minnesota, they're called something else. But anyway, it just reminded me of home. So I love that. I got this cool bottle. Don't know if it's vintage, don't care. I like the shape of it and I'll use this in decor. I have several of these around my house. This one might actually go to my bedroom because I told you I'm doing a, a bedroom makeover. I got this drink shaker just because it was cool looking. I don't know what I'll even use it for. It says three, so there's an I in a circle and then it says three, five, 17. Think, is that like the mold number? I don't really know. Maybe one of you knows. But I, I think it's a drink shaker or a water bottle. I don't really know. But I just thought it was cool looking. Maybe I'll use it for um, St. Patrick's Day or Christmas decor. I'm not sure. I picked up a sprinkler. Got one at a yard sale a few weeks ago that 
kind that goes back and forth. Well, this one I can use to water my garden because it has all the different settings and can kind of aim it a little better. So my veggie garden will love me for this. <clears throat> this is weird. And I thought one of you might know what it is. I really don't know. It, it's this little like tool of some sort. It has bristles and this pointy end. And it says, I think it must say like, oh yeah, made in Sweden. I have no idea what it's for though. I just thought it was cool and I'm probably gonna set it on a shelf. And last but not least, before they start the road work, I got a lot of doilies. That one. And this one. And this one. And this I picked up because it's funny. It's a collar. Should I wear it? So. Okay, so anyway, that's what I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Yard Sale Sundays with my big haul from the bag sale at the rummage sale. If you like this kind of content, I also post thrift videos on Fridays. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Have a great day.